And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, that heat and humidity returned today, seeing temperatures reach the low 80s since the first time since uh, last Monday, June 27th, hitting temperatures that day, 89. Today, reaching highs mid to low 80s. But on top of that heat and humidity, which will continue to rise over the next few days, we're looking at multiple rounds of rainfall and storms in the forecast with the potential of some severe weather as well going ahead over the next few days. Your Renaissance camera this evening, pretty calm and Comfortable may not be the term I'd use for it. We had 84 degrees earlier on today, still below average. That temperature holding on at 73 degrees. Winds are calm, but look at the humidity, still up around 87 degrees. You can certainly feel the mugginess out there, to say the least. 73 in Delphi, we're at 72 right now. Winamax, 70 degrees in Remington at this hour. So primarily clear conditions across the viewing area. The same cannot be said for off to our northwest, where the line of showers and storms rolling across parts of Minnesota. Iowa now moving into Wisconsin, triggering many warnings via tornado or severe thunderstorm warnings across the northwest. Now that's all headed in our direction. At least the remnants of that system will be reaching us early tomorrow morning. Your future cast this evening looking at that warm front lifting across the region. That won't be the weather maker. It will be the cold front, the low pressure system off to our north. First bringing a few isolated showers around 6 or 7 in the morning early tomorrow and then a better chance of showers and thunderstorms after that point. We'll get back to that here in a moment. Your temperatures overnight tonight only falling as low as the upper 60s, low 70s. 70 in West Lafayette, 69 degrees, your overnight low temperature in Attica tonight. Your snapshot forecast, Mary Beth Wood sending in the beautiful backdrop for this evening's forecast. Going ahead, 70 degrees by 6, back up to 77 by 10. Couple isolated showers throughout the early morning. Then once we get to about 9 o'clock in the morning, that's when that primary line of showers and storms will begin to reach the northwestern portion of the viewing area. A couple isolated showers at first. This is by 10. Notice that bowing of that situation. That indicates strong winds at the surface. So that's a possibility early tomorrow morning with these storms. Pushing southward, reaching Tippecanoe County by about 11, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Finally pushing out of the viewing area between 11 and noon. After that, a brief period of drier weather, more sunshine, a recharging of the atmosphere. Then chances of showers and storms during the afternoon and evening, likely after 10 p.m. into early Thursday morning. A marginal risk of severe weather for the entire viewing area tomorrow. The primary threats, hail larger than an inch in diameter, along with wind gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour. We'll hit a high temperature 89 tomorrow, warming up to 90 on Thursday. Isolated showers and storms early Thursday morning and late Thursday night with a better chance of showers and storms on Friday. That'll be the primary threat for severe weather as the cold front moves across the region, interacting with temperatures in the upper 80s. Primary threats those that day. Hail, wind, isolated tornadoes a possibility. Once we get towards Saturday and Sunday, drier and cooler. 81, mostly sunny for Saturday. So we have to weather the storms to get to the weekend. Yes, we do. All right, we'll keep yeah. an eye on those. Yeah. And you